Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, today I wanna to close off a few jobs on the 900 Scrambler. We'll start with some tank decals, arrived at last, then some tank pads, a smart new tank cap, and then a cracking new seat. Let's go. Right now, putting a sticker on is child's play. Anyone can put a sticker on something, but the big challenge with putting tank decals on is exactly where to put them. The guys at the factory have it easy because they use a template. They lay it over the tank and it presents a hole exactly where the badge goes, bang on. But we don't have that. We're gonna put these on freehand. And the method is to use lining tape and mark out a map exactly where you wanna put them so that when they're on, they're not only symmetrical either side, but they're straight as well.
Okay, at this point, an easy mistake to make is to take that cover film off and pull it that way. If you do that, it can pull the decal off the job. So instead, fold it back on itself and slide it along the job, and then it will leave the decals there guaranteed and won't cause any problems. There we are. Slide it off. Okay, now with the seat, we wanted to make not just a difference to the upholstery and freshen up the look of it, but also we wanted to make some differences to the leg reach because we've jacked the bike up a very small amount, only just over an inch. So we needed to make that leg reach the same with the seat and you couldn't shave any more out of this Bonneville seat. This is a Bonneville SE seat. It was the lowest and hardest of all the seats and it gave that leg reach that the rider needed. So in this case, we would have gone to an upholsterer and said, can you do some trimming to the width of the seat and also a foam in it that's more yielding. So basically everything we wanted to have done to this seat has already been done to this. This is the Motone crate seat. So it's already got much softer upholstery, a much more modern look to it, and more importantly, the base itself has been modified, which is what we wanted. That was the aim in order to get the leg reach the same as before. I'll show you. Right, if we spin them over, I'll show you what I mean. Now put them both side by side and you can see from the contours underneath here that they're the same seat base, exactly the same. But the difference is on the Motone seat, this skirt around the outside has been completely trimmed off. And you can see how far they've trimmed because these rubber bungs on the Motone seat, they're what sit on the frame. So they're in a fixed position, you can't move them. And the rubber bungs on the factory seat, they're inboard by about an inch and a half. So let's actually measure the difference between 
the two seats and see how much narrower this one is because they've trimmed the skirt off. Okay, if we measure the width of the factory seat first, where your legs are, it's 12 inches side to side, and back here in the middle of the seat, 13 inches. If we measure the Motown seat, actually in on the base where it's trimmed, we've got a shade over 10 inches, and in the middle, it's still only a shade over 11. All right, so as you can see, practically two inches wider in the factory seat. That's where the gain is. It's in this skirt being removed. So with the Motone seat, you get newer, fresh, soft, yielding upholstery, but it's narrower, so it allows the rider's legs to drop directly or more directly to the floor to retain the leg reach on a bike that's been lifted up very slightly. Anyway, that's a lot of chat. Let's put it on the bike. Right, now of the seven main jobs planned for this bike's well-earned makeover, we've done six of them now. That just remains the tires to go. Now the tires we want for this to give it the overall finishing look, they're on back order everywhere. In fact, they're even out of stock at Dunlop themselves. So we've got to wait for those for a little while, but it's the middle of the winter season, so it's not the end of the world. So once they arrive, we'll get the tires fitted on this and then we can sign it off once and for all. But in the meantime, we've got other projects on the go, like the Harley. So we'll see you next time.